Good morning. Yeah, we are about to start the beginning of our extension journey. So we just need to clear the garage out because that's getting knocked down. So yeah, come with me. So Tunde has made a start. We're getting there. There were a lot more stuff like at the front here. All the top there now has been fully cleared. We're getting there. We're hoping to sell the doors. So I need to start taking pictures of them soon. It's getting there, right? This reminds me of where we just moved in. Oh yeah, just filling up the car to take to the skip. So this is all Tunde's done so far. It's quite a lot getting there. It's actually wet. Which is yeah, also penetrating down on them. So when it rains quite heavily, just when it heavily. rains, it pours. When it rains, it pours. Morning. So today the extension finally commences. We've got our builders here, so I'll just quickly give you a sneak peek. This is the current garage, so this is all golden. And this is the existing kitchen which is currently boarded. And we can't wait to get rid. Um, it had a conservatory here, hence the boarding. So as you can see guys, um, I'm going to have to actually speed this up because it's raining. But they've knocked down the roof, um, cleared everything else. And they're quite neat guys as well, which is good. So it's day two now. They have now knocks down the, the garage completely and here we can actually see the full space really right to the back and then the garden is obviously becoming a dumping ground for now on the side here you can see more flags have actually been taken off so tomorrow will be the day where they actually start digging out their the footings so all around here we will be digged out tomorrow which is We've decided to show you guys around. As you can see here, the garage was obviously here before. But what we're planning to do is to have a bedroom slash office. But it's mainly going to be a guest room, basically. And right behind there, come along. Where I'm standing right now will be the utility room, which will probably end probably somewhere there. Right up from where the wall is internally. And then from this point onwards, so when the, where the utility ends, all around within the kitchen area. So. The walls ending here, you can tell. This kitchen is actually getting knocked down once we start doing some brick layering. And the garden will be the next thing after the kitchen's done. Likewise with the driveway as well. So we'll show you guys the plan. But right now, there's no point going through it because there's just so many tents and rubble and soil that's covered it as well. So yeah, uh, we've not even gone past one week and it's been a long Okay, so this is the current situation when you come outside from these sliding doors, which we are removing eventually. So, fun fact, if we didn't actually have this kitchen here, this extension would have been a lot cheaper. So consider buying a house without an, ex an extension because then you can build your own extension for less money, if that makes sense. But anyway, so this is the current situation. We've got some concrete in there and some sand and stuff that's just what all got pulled up from there they've given us a little bridge to walk past to walk through because yeah and then some bricks there so this is from that angle you can see the bricks more bricks more bricks here loads of rubbish there yet to go we didn't have a manhole before apparently but now we have a manhole 
this is what I was saying to you, if this wasn't here, this bit, the extension bit here, would be cheaper, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so that's going obviously, have a nice open new space here. I think we're all set for tomorrow. Day seven. Okay, so the garden's practically not in use because I'll show you, I have a little peek, we'll walk around. But there's all of that. Like completely full of stuff. I decided to stick a garden chair here for myself, so I'm gonna just sit on there now while I'm on my lunch and enjoy. So it's been eight days um, officially on site. So basically, it does like a trench for the footing, that sort of stuff. But at the moment, if we we can bring a garden chair out, but obviously it's not the most amazing environment at the moment. So we tend to go to the park a little bit more now as well. So, but it's coming along though. It's coming along. I bought us off for a week. But his men will still continue working. The actual bricklaying will start next week, I believe. So we start seeing this rise up. So we picked our bricks, I think, yesterday, and also roof tiles as well, roof slates that we want. We, so we've got the kitchen for another week, I believe, and then that needs to come down. I think it will move pretty quickly from next week. It's been a good first week. Mm -hmm. 